In chapter 5, I discuss resolution. And the way that I explain it is that you can affect the resolution of your image by using the image size dialog box. Now that remains true um, so far in every version of Adobe Photoshop, including the Creative Cloud. However, the dialog box looks very different in Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud um, than it looked in any of the previous versions of Photoshop. So if you're running Creative Cloud, then you should watch the screencast. If you're running any of the previous versions of Photoshop, the Foundations of Digital Art and Design book has the correct screenshots in it. So I talk about <clears throat> the concept of resampling and redistributing pixels. Any given digital image has a set number of pixels and those pixels determine the file size. So I can see in this image size dialog box that my image size is 3.68 megabytes and it has the dimensions 1607 pixels by 2400 pixels. Um, these values are inherent to the digital image. Um, I can change them but it would be best not to make those numbers larger and it's okay to make those numbers smaller. In other words, we never want to add pixels because um, if we add pixels we're just kind of making them up, kind of doing a best guess and that usually leads to some blurry or pixelated imagery. Um, and it's okay to delete pixels. It's always okay to delete pixels. So the dimensions at a resolution of 240 pixels per inch are close to 6.5 by 10, right? Something like that. Here I have a button that says resample. This is probably the most important button in the dialog box. So let's say I want to create this image for print purposes and I know that I get the highest quality print on my machine at 300 dpi. Right now, if I would just change this to 300, watch what happens to my image size. My image size increases, I've just added pixels, and in my view I can actually see my view looks a little bit pixelated over here. So I'm going to press the option key while hovering over cancel which becomes reset and I'll reset back to what I had to begin with and instead I will uncheck resample. Unchecking resample in my mind, this is not Adobe language but just in my mind, unchecking resample means redistribute. So don't resample the pixels, don't change the pixels, don't uh, create new pixels, don't throw away pixels, just redistribute the pixels that I have. Now notice when I type in 300, my dimensions stay the same, my image size is the same, but the width and height of my what would be my printed document are now different because I've redistributed the number of pixels in the file. And so I actually have more pixels that I'm going to pack in per inch. Um, and since there are a set number of pixels, that means that my width and height just shrink. I'm going to have a slightly smaller image, but the quality, because my theoretical printer will print at a higher quality at 300 dpi, the quality will be better. So, so this is redistributing pixels, making something print ready. Um, generally, if you're going to be increasing the resolution, this is what you want to do. You want to watch for this button is not checked, and these three items with height and resolution should be linked. You'll see a little link icon. When I press OK, here's your final kind of clue that you did this right. When you press OK, it kind of looks like nothing changed. Nothing got bigger, nothing shrank, my screen size is basically the same. Now I'm going to press Command Option I to get back into that same dialog box and I'm going to pretend as though I would like to downsample or resample for the web. So this time around I'm not looking um, at a 300 dpi image, instead I want my image to be 72 dpi screen resolution. The resample button is checked. I can throw away pixels. My new file is 
much smaller than my original file, and my new dimensions are much smaller than my original file. When I press OK, my file shrinks. It's kind of tiny compared to what it was before. Um, and I'm ready to now save this for the web. I hope that that helps you to understand uh, file resolution via the image size dialog box. That is a very important box uh, area to understand in Photoshop and um, the Creative Cloud has a slightly different take on the appearance of that box, so hopefully that's cleared up now.